with our vassal state now all set up and just waiting to, with any luck, eventually join our empire, I thought it would be a good day today to have a look at seeing where it is that we can expand to next here on Galaxy Divided, the Jedi Council. Hey, it's Atharal here for EGN, and today we are back with the Jedi Council. So in the last episode, we've managed to do some wars and get everything a little bit more settled, I believe. I think it was over here. I, I don't know. I think it was something like that. Uh, I, I don't actually know where our vassals are. There should be some vassals somewhere that I was certain that we we did do. Hmm. Am I going crazy? Am I, am I messing my games together? I don't know. I'm going to go with yes, probably. Right, oh, inactive buildings. Of course there is, because people have decided to move on. Luckily, there is perfectly fine because they've already got more than enough food. So let's actually go through. Let's, apparently, we've got a lot of upgrades that we've been forgetting in terms of our money. Wow, we've really put a lot of folks into improving our energy credits, haven't we? We're actually doing very well as, as well with that regard. Clear that out, and then let's jump through. Let's actually, you know what? We're going to just let this run forward just while we're doing all this. So, yeah, we're just trying to increase the sort of the stability of our empire as a whole. We are still lacking some bits, which is a bit of a problem in that we are actually lacking having libraries, I believe. I think we haven't managed to find the library ability or technology. No, we haven't, which is a big problem in certain senses because the library is a brilliant one for increasing your research. The more research, the more advanced we're going to be, the better our ships are, the better we're going to be able to fight wars. And that is the important thing, really, isn't it? So where are we? So we're just having a quick flick around these. Let's be honest, the only things that we're buying is power plants because that's the only ones that we really have. Although apparently we do have some tech ones as well, which is, you know, always nice. And this here, you can see that our place is always expanding. It could do with probably being a little bit bigger in the sense of there's a lot more options for where we could go. And it seems like we've kind of let all of this slide a little bit when we've been, you know, doing what the Jedi really probably shouldn't be doing, which is focusing on wars and things like that and not trying to just generally help people, which is a problem in a certain sense really we should have been trying to help people especially with the amount of stuff here that we can do and the more of this that we do the more you know we can have larger forces to be able to patrol our area although admittedly we're probably never going to be massive in terms of galactic power in terms of military which is a shame because i'd certainly like to be a larger military force right so where we're up to segora let's try and remember that so, star charts and star charts. Yeah, sure, why not? So, we were at Sagora. So, yep, yeah, let's keep looking down this list. Apparently, there was a lot of toxic kelp around on some of our planets. Which, fair enough, we will sort out all of the toxic kelp for you. And also, as well, improve, 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 and also improve you. Uh, what should we improve you? We're going to do a biolab. Transmission uh, from an independent space station. The Starry Troop, they appear to have successfully translated our language. Good for them. Headmaster, who are you? We wish to become your patron. What is this? So, uh, this will be help allow us to try out use ears and take more risks in our creation process. No deal. I probably should have actually done that. I don't know where they were. Mm, that could be a problem. We'll, we'll figure that out at some point, probably, won't we? Yeah, of course we will. Right. Let's just get these all, all finally all built up. It's apparently taking us a little bit longer than I thought. Oh, they're moving away from the planet. Well, fine then. Use can run away. Actually, we're going to pause it while we're, you know, doing all this because we need to make sure that we can get that technology. Any second, really, that we're not researching something is time when research points are potentially being wasted. That's not good. Right. So, let's see. What do you, you're going to have to be a basic bio lab. You're going to have to be, well, actually, you don't really need food, but we're going to put you down as food, let's be honest. Yes, for food and minerals, yeah, why not? So basic mine. And we, obviously, we can't do the deep sinkholes and mountain ranges. Rather annoying. So what's this? Fusion missiles. Okay, fair enough. What is this? Crystal infused plating. 31 months uh, 
deep core mining, basic fighter wings. I'm leaning towards the fighters, not going to lie. Space torpedoes. Hmm. Not sure how really useful they are. Antimatter missiles. Tempting. Carrier base. No, carrier operations. Yeah, I think we're going to go for fighters. I think. Let's see how well that goes, though, of course. But, you know, we'll have to, we'll, what we'll try. So where are these? Okay, so they're both up there, the two fleets. Our two fleets are pretty much all of our area, uh, like all of our ships as well. So this fleet, I mean, they are nice fleets. They certainly look a lot, I think, because of the shapes of them, because they're quite long and thin, they fit together a little bit better than the actual, than the Sith ones, which is nice. You know, that actually looks like something where they're not all about to fall over each other. Let's have a jump over to this one as well. Again, quite a nice fleet. Uh, it's not a fleet you'd like to... Well, actually, it's a fleet you wouldn't be too bothered about going against, really, isn't it? It's not really that risky. And, of course, the Sith are trying to threaten us again. They are superior. They are superior in naval power and passive, but they are equivalent in technology. So that's a good thing, at least. I am a bit worried about them, I will admit. I think that... Oh, what's... Fair enough. Uh, I, I'm a little bit worried about them. I won't deny that. I think that they maybe could be a little bit better. Uh, you know, it could be a little bit of a bad one that they're going to probably attack us sooner rather than later. I think I'm not 100%, but I believe so at least. I really wish I could figure out where on earth how do we put... Was it these guys? These guys are not vassals, are they? Are they? I don't know. Hmm. And run and friendly. This is the, the, one of the problems of the game that this is not. Oh, it's this bit here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, right, that's it. So it's these ones that we can then look at integrating later on. They are loyal and they have a lot of trust, so they are liberated. Does 96 minus 2 every year, that's fine. Do that. Um, Why spiritualist, free individualist, relative power of subjects, trust and subject. Yeah, brilliant. So let's offer them a trade deal, though. Could we. Do like, I don't know, but actually, no, there's nothing really we need to worry about. So, we've got quite a fair bit of while. So, 2301, we're going to be able to get these guys and integrate this, these two lands there. So, not really exactly a big area, but oh, wait, no, we've got two lands there and did these as well for a trade deal close borders. No, they're just allies of some form. Hmm, fair enough. Is it? I'm sure it's, yeah, the Andoronian United Dominion. Domains. So the Andron United Domains will join us eventually. Eventually. So scientist. Right, he wasn't there, so he was here. Farewell, scientist. You will be missed, sort of, I think. Probably be missed. I don't know, though. I can't really remember him, but you know, fair enough. Right, so let's see what we've we got. Survey speed. Research that, research that. Survey speed it is. Recruit. This night. And where will you go to? Where can you go to, really, though? That's that's the thing. Uh, that was probably a little bit pointless, because you can't really actually go anywhere. So you know what? You're going to go down here. They haven't closed their borders, so... You know what? Have a little bit of a run. Just see how far you can run down all of these. Unless, is there any actual situation? Because we don't really do them. Go to this. Right. Yes, we can. So, where are you? There you are. Research project? Right, okay, because you don't have a high enough skill to be able to go and do that. That's annoying. Right, we'll have to send you to go and do some other stuff then. Try and level yourself up as soon as you are able, if you can, because that is really important that you will need to do it. So, that's send them off down there. Um, oh, what is this planet? This planet is green and yellows. So quite a nice planet. Who would be best for it? Uh, the Zabrax. Right, so we need to find a place that's got Zabrax. Not that actually, come to think of it, there's any point in it, because it will not really actually stop them from, you know, just all moving wherever the damn well they please. Because that's just how they work. Right, where are you? You're all the way up there. Okay, so you're all the way. Wow, have we got... Have you got things there? Yes, you have. Right, build a research station then. Go and grab that. Hmm, I didn't realise we... I completely forgot that we'd put that down. But, you know what? Fair enough. See, I'm tempted to say that I want to next go against... 
the Mon Calamari. They are inferior, but they are part of a federation. So we could declare war for them to liberate the what have you. I don't know. We could liberate a lot of stuff and then integrate all of those in as vassals to us and all that sort of stuff would probably be quite a good idea. And then we can look at expanding a little bit further in this. And the, the huts are really not doing good. The Council of Camino, however, are definitely somebody to watch out for. I think here they are equivalent to us. So, uh, yeah, they sort of are. Right, so, technology, what have we got? Yes, the force. We now have libraries. Libraries. Libraries for all. Oh, what happened there? You saw nothing. <laughs> I totally didn't. Yeah, I just accidentally hit the window screen. Right, I really do need to watch what I'm doing sometimes. Things like that, don't I? Right. Hmm. Did recruitment cost that? It's a handy one to have. Deep sinkholes. I know that we do have those, so actually we're going to need to go for the deep sinkholes. Clear up some more land for our people is something that we are certainly going to need to do and something that is right to do, so that should be fine there. Right, now let's have a look. Could we... We can't get past that way. Could we maybe go down this way? No, we can't. So there's, you know, there is a oh, Grand Master. An election. Who is this? Minerals and that. So there isn't really anybody else. So it was always going to be the Knight L. So Grand Master L has uh, decided is started to let's have a look. Agenda: secure the borders. Military station build cost minus fifteen percent. Not sure why we have that, but okay. What do you give us? Building cost and minerals. Right. So, why do we have that? Is that an edict that we're using? I don't know. Hmm. We need to probably expand our... Um, the Jedi are quite definitely large. There's a lot of Jedi, so fair enough. Hmm. Empires versus fallen empires. Get rid of primitives. Others, I don't know. There's a lot of information there. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm, I'm having a bit of a think. Declared war on Paris civil authority. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. But you know what, Zabrax, you do what you need to do. I'd love to be able to go up there. See, this one here, uh, there's a lot going on up there. The Zabrak Council are a little bit of a, hmm. I need to watch them. Mid, that, yeah, don't care. Iridonia, they are apparently inferior, and yet they are a lot larger. I'm not sure how I feel about them. I'm, I'm, I'm quietly conscious of what they're doing, and I think that we're going to need to keep an eye out on it. Who are you? Are you a basic defense platform? Space dock defense platform. Yes, you are. Right, so this fleet here is really not great. This fleet here could do with being expanded. We've got a lot of extra money coming in, so let's have a bit of a check down. So this one has got... An awful lot of ships. So you're going to upgrade. You? Are you able to upgrade? No, you're not. Why is... Wait, El... I did... What? Right, Master Udo. You're the only one. So, busy commanding the 21st Peacekeepers. Monthly influence and build cost. Yes. So I will abstain because now this guy, Grandmaster Udo Mai, is now taking over. So... However, how old are you? Next election. Oh, right. Next election is going to be happening. So let's certainly hope that these people, you know, actually keep doing what they're supposed to be. Hmm. I have no idea on that one. Right. Scientist has gained a level. Good for you. They don't care about that. Don't care about that. Right. Oh, unemployment. Why is it? Why are you there if you could be there? Well, actually, I know why you're there. Because you are going to get, where is it? An, a force academy. A military academy, Baratheon Mine. Hmm. There it is, library. So Empire Modifier plus 10% research and plus 20% if it is a force ability. So that, I mean, our research, how, I don't know how much it is. I would love to see it. Total so, yeah, there we go. So we get 311 progress so we get a base of 261 and then we could add plus 10 so add another 26 so that one building is in effect adding on 26 of that uh, 26 and 85 all oh, right so it's those numbers so they add on a lot of extra right so 
having libraries, very good. And is exactly what we're going to do. Python. How is Python doing in terms of food? Brilliant. So, you are going to replace it with a library. And, you know, we don't need to worry about that at all. So, actually, improve both of these. Improve both of these. You are moving away, which is a shame. But... We will get to the point where we are going to be adding on an awful lot as our place just starts to get an awful lot bigger. Right, Ooh. let's clear out all of this land as well, all the toxic kelp. There we go, there we go. And yes, yes, even though you're moving away, we don't want you to move away. So mm, that's a shame. We'd rather if they didn't move, but I suppose this is the problem of having, well, as we well know, as having this sort of style empire. Right, so then you are going to replace them with... A library i think i think you are if i could see where the library was there we go why does the libraries seem to keep disappearing on us we want to try and build as many libraries as we can because well libraries are just a really really handy one to have basically so you yeah you're going to get a library i don't know actually i should probably check if the, the cost of them you know yeah thinking about that i maybe should check on how it is that the cost of them to run and all that sort of stuff. But why would we do that? That's boring. You know what? We're just going to go through and we're going to improve all of this stuff and hope that it works. And this is where we find out they're actually ridiculously expensive or something along those lines and it just crashes our economy. And then we all cry. Distinct possibility. Could happen. Has happened in the past on other games that I've played where I just I haven't tracked the maintenance correctly and then suddenly everything goes to pot. And when everything goes to pot, it is never fun. I don't recommend it. So let's actually have a look. This library, actually it's only got a maintenance of one. You can only have one per planet. Not terribly surprising that one. But, you know, it's still nice. Right, you know what? You're going to not get one on this planet, though you're going to go for a basic power plant because we actually really do quite need more. You're going to do that. You're going to do that. However, you are going to swap over to there. You are then going to build on there. You are going to have a library. So, we should see our research go up pretty soon by quite a fair bit. We should, at least. Right, so we're going we're gonna to swap you to there because we're going to get you to build a library. Another library, yes. And we can't do any on there. So, right, that's all great. This place, you've got nothing. So, can you build a library? No. Right. So, you swap to there. You swap to there so that this is all bouncing out. And you build... Actually, no. Uh, yeah, uh, this seems to be okay. So here we're going to get you to build... Actually, you're going to go down to there. You're then going to build... Uh, no, build there a symbol of unity. And then you're going to have food. How are we doing in terms of food? We've got more than enough food. So yeah, that should work out all great. Right then. So let's see. Where should we go next? So... We need to eventually look at trying to expand again. And we're going to have to expand by Liberation Wars because that's just what we have to kind of do. In terms of victory, we've got, by owning 40% of the habitable planets, we own 41 of 200 odds, so a little under 20%, well, probably about 15%, something silly like that. 15, 20%, yeah, there or thereabouts. Conquest, okay, there are still loads of independence, yep. Yeah. And winning the game by having our federation on 60%. That one seems to be turned off, the federation victory, which is a shame. So we can't win by just having everybody sort of part of the Galactic Republic, which is a shame. Right, mitigation treaty proposal for them. Or not mitigation, migration treaty. I don't know why I always call it a mi mitigation. Migration treaty, yep, yeah, yeah. Peace offer between them. Right, so... There's not too much going on. Well, there is a lot going on in the galaxy, but there's not too much for us to worry about or anything along those sorts of lines just yet. Oh, transmission. Monthly Teldar crystals, monthly thingy crystals from the kingdom of Naboo. Yes, why not? Now, what I'd like to start doing is like going to say people like this and demand vassalization. We, vassalization we can demand that they permanently submit to us and become our vassals. They must be at peace. They probably wouldn't accept it even if they weren't. So not too much to worry about there. If we were to declare war on the Zeltros as well, which we could do. We could actually declare war on Zeltros. 
and expand their lands. They are receptive and they are inferior to us. We could do it. We shouldn't do it, but we could do it. And that would get us a nice little, say, chunk of land here. If we, say, got these three planets and got this nice little bit here and then offered to vassalize and all that sort of stuff as we have been and bring them under our control. That's the idea. I think we could give it a go and it might work. And I think that is going to be the way that the Jedi are going to have to expand going forward. So expanding by war, but peacefully expanding by war. So letting the people decide and then people just happen to decide to always join us. So I'm going to leave it there for today. If you want to see how wars in the future do go, do be sure to hit that subscribe button. I've been Tharal here for EGN and I shall see you next time.